Hello there, and today I have something rather special for you all. Today I'm bringing you a mod for Minecraft, and you're looking around and you might notice that something looks a bit different. Something looks a bit better. If you notice, Minecraft has dynamic shadows, and it makes the game look absolutely fabulous. Um, this is a mod that I, um, I came across, and I have been dreaming of a mod such as this for such a very long time and it finally came so today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you the um, uh, dynamic shadows mod for minecraft uh, the exact name of it um, so this mod as you can see looking around you casts dynamic shadows in all directions it is um, installed um, it's found on the wiki page and you have to install a couple other mods to um, to use it because um, and you just download an installer and it installs the mods for you a bit of warning before I go any further this mod is extremely graphics intensive if your computer is not high-end I, I tell you to turn away now and my computer is just barely barely cutting it I have a 5750 graphics card and I can run Battlefield 3 at a decent resolution at ultra settings but this <laughs> gives me a run for its money. Um, as you can see, our player has dynamic an um, dynamic shadows, and even items, if we throw some items down, they have dynamic shadows. There are a bit of, a bit of problems I have found with the mod, though. As you can see, everything is kind of see-through, the blocks. And I don't know if this is a bug everyone has. I'm guessing it's not, but it definitely is a bug. Um, it's like all of the textures, um, the um, transparency was lowered or something. And so that's kind of a bummer. I don't know why that happens, but it, it's, it's kind of lame. But other than that, this mod is absolutely fantastic. It's a work in progress, and I'm going to go ahead and show you um, something else. We're going to go to a world that you guys might have previously seen, or if you just searched this video, you probably haven't seen it before. So we're showing you at night. Um, the shadows also cast at night. So this is moonlight we're running off of right now. And as you can see, if you watch the shadows very closely, they are moving, which is pretty cool, which means they are really dynamic. It's, you know, cast by the direction of the sun, or the moon, for that example. Uh, a couple things... Um, I really like about this is that, as you can see, it's also, um, actually, I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess that would be even more graphics intensive, that it would factor in the light from the torch, and uh, that would just make your computer totally explode. My computer <laughs> graphics card is going at full throttle right now. But the several things with the mod, and the mod that you install as a prerequisite um, installs also a bunch of these different options and adds many different things. It ran adds random mobs, it adds um, support for HD texture packs, and it makes things look more soft. It makes the blocks not have quite as hard edges, as you can see. Um, well, you can't see it quite there, but if we go look at, like, look at this chicken, for example. It's sort of softened, and so is the torch. It's given a sort of a softened effect, which I think is really nice. I think it's really graphically pleasing. And if you can pick up a texture pack and slap this on, you know, you'll really start to see the difference. And it, I really like it at night, actually. Um, the blocks and everything just looks absolutely fantastic. Um, there are many different options for you to, convic to configure in this mod, um, but they're not easy to use, and if you're just starting out, I would just leave it at default, but then you can start playing around with different features. They have a depth of field feature, um, and they have many different features. They also have an experimental one where it's, um, <clears throat> what is that called? Bach? No, Bach. Bach. Uh, something like that. It's a photography depth of field, which I took a look at, and it was pretty cool. Um, other than that, um, as you can see, if we throw a block down also, the block retains the shadow which is absolutely really really great and it works really well in a lot of different biomes but there are some glitches um, it's still being worked on so that's so that's um that's I completely understandable I think this mod is absolutely fantastic overall so we're gonna switch into third person and walk over here oh hold on a sec plus five internets for you if you know what my character is uh, alright post down in the comments if you know 
Anyway, if we come over here, I'll show you. There are some glitches. I encountered a bunch of a lot of glitches with signs, specifically. Oh, now it's not happening. Well, what it was it was there are flickering bugs that happen sometimes. For example, these signs a bit earlier were flickering on and off. So there's bugs, but I'm sure they'll be worked out. Um, but if you are, do uh, think about installing this mod, you know, if you can't run, if you have a graphics card lower than me, I'm also recording with Fraps. Um, I can't run this at 1080p. I'm actually recording this at 720, which is kind of a bummer because it looks amazing at 1080, but it gets a lot more laggy. Um, so basically, this mod overall is absolutely fantastic, and I'll provide a link in the description belo below to download it, as well as the, um, it's actually a modification of another mod, but I think this, this one turns out absolutely fantastic. One thing I will note is that, um, certain things don't work properly, like, I don't like exactly how the shadows cast in the water, the water gets really dark and it looks a bit too, um, I don't know. It doesn't transition well, but I don't know how you would work on that. Also, if a structure is too tall, the statue won't quite quite reach the ground. So this is actually happens a lot with high, with very tall statues. Um, not, not statues, but um, as you can see, the sta shadow is really long right now because um, the, when the sun sets, or this, I guess the sun's rising right now here. I want you guys to see this. This is one of the most amazing things about this mod. As the sun rises, we'll see our our shadow begin to appear. See, we have almost no shadow right now because the sun and the moon are in equilibrium. But if you give it a second, there we go. And I don't know. I just like... I mean, I wish they would smooth this out a little bit. I'm sure they'll get on it. But, like, looking at the sunset and everything, it just looks fantastic. And I like how the blocks have a certain glow to them. As you can see, our shadow is projected really long, like it would be if you were on a long plane um, right as the sun rose. So, overall, I'm going to give this mod a 9.5 out of 10. I... It's absolutely excellent, but it's not perfect, so I can't give it a 10 out of 10. But, you know, the fact that their their um, mod creator is very diligently working on it and doing updates, and you can go ahead and check the mod page for updates, and he also uh, links more of the complicated stuff uh, about this mod as well. But this is the basics. Um, the mod does work really well. Make sure that... it. Oh, one more thing. It also adds... And I No, hold on a second. Oh, uh, this this is an old map, though. If we could... Do I have some bone meal with me? Here we go. Um, this is not part of... It's part of the prerequisite mod that it comes with, I think. If we place down some bone meal here. As you can see, it has a lot of nice little little effects, like the, uh, the grass here is swaying in the wind. and it, It's really nice. As you can see, there's a bunch of different options if you go here into video settings. All this stuff. And... Um, it's actually useful. You can, if you do have a lower end computer, you can go and you know put it on tiny and turn off a lot of other things like uh, animations for certain things, and um, you can just change a lot of different things in here, which is really nice. It's, there's so much customization here, which I like. But I think that's from the uh, prerequisite mod. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, all in all, this mod definitely gets a 9.5 out of 10. Oh wow, it's blind. One thing I I will say though, if you do, uh oh god, it's bright. I'm on. I think I'm on moody right now. Yeah, I'm on moody. What am I gonna put it on bright? Ah, my eyes. Okay. Yeah. One thing is, the, um, the way it works. I I I wish this could be a little bit offset. I'm gonna switch it on to far. Show you the difference. We're gonna get a little bit of lag though. Um. All right. As you can see, it's not quite as well. It's actually still quite blinding. Or is that? Oh, is that reflection off the sand? Oh, that is excellent. So I guess this mod just scored a couple points because it looks like it reflects realistically if you were standing on a you know bed of sand or if you looked up at the clouds the reflection would be very very bright so that's really nice um this this mod i was about to say something negative about it but it just fantastic mod if you have the hardware for it i definitely recommend checking it out it has some glitches but they're working on it diligently so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i um i hope that you can give this mod a try because i swear it's it 
it makes Minecraft so much better. And oh look, the shadow's fixed. Oh well, sorta. Almost. Oh, there we go. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll just you know ignore that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're able to install the mod and enjoy this. Um, you you gotta have a good graphics card though. I've got a 5750, so you can take that as reference. Um, I'm actually getting pretty good performance right now. So. Um, I'm sure it'll come with better optimization later, but it is very taxing on the GPU to be able to create these shadows. Uh, you can also allocate more RAM to Minecraft. And another thing, very important, I'm sorry I overlooked this, if you are running on a 64-bit system, which means you're probably running if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM or more, make sure you install 64-bit Java, which is just a, a good idea overall. Um, in general, if you have a 64-bit system, you'll, you'll get less crashes, you'll get better performance definitely install 64-bit Java. Make sure of that because the game gets very buggy if you don't. I um, I tested that because um, I thought that might have been a problem and oh. Um, but anyway, that's all I had to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the mod and um, I'll see you next time. Peace.